Alrighty, howdy neighbors and welcome back to Corpse Party. Sweet Sachiko has six birthday bash. I totally said that wrong. Last time we finished the main king's game. And Seiko's apologizing for the fact that she went a little overboard while playing. Seiko. Seiko. Naomi walked a half-step ahead and stood shoulder to shoulder with Seiko. Now Seiko noticed this. Now when Seiko noticed this, he looked over at Naomi's face first and foremost. Seeing that she too shared the same sympathetic smile that was on her own face, the two of them continued on together, melting into the darkness. You know... <laughs> I really could have just waited. <laughs> <laughs> there were five chapter clear. <laughs> uh, number six, the ironic chef is now available in chapter select. Welp. <clears throat> what a twist. Let's go ahead and. So what is this one? We need to keep on going. <laughs> Continue. Alright, time for the seventh round of the latest Hachiko game. Okay. It's the king, it's Lady Sachiko. It's the kiss. I'm never gonna smile, it's not a Kaguchi. Stop it! The one time that talked with you was actually assertive. I really don't know how to skip, so I'm sorry about that. Number two, switch to number five. And Saika beats the crap out of Anumaru. Sayaka can't do it because she wants to kiss Naomi instead. And because she wants to kiss Naho, and Naho's like, why the fuck am I in this? They're soul sisters because they want to kiss their best friends. Bring everything in. あれ、ない、出ないと。さっき。いやいや。あ、これ
大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大大今日そうよ何もかも成功がそれに私をくすぐった時も出世でもいいよ確かに幸子様ゲームの命令だからやらないわけにはいかなかったんだろうけどでもあんなにしつこくしなくても何度もやめてって頼んだのにセコって場を悪乗りしてあんなとこやこ,こんなとこまでこちょこちょって。I kept telling you to stop, but you just kept on tickling me, Seiko. Here, there, and everywhere. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 If you're going to do things like that to me, then I. Then I make it weird between us. Take us questions to stop now and we're back to reality. She raised her head and noticed that Seiko was so close. She could even feel her breath. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. 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 I mean, hey Naomi. Hey Naomi. Motto, I don't know. Go to the house. You want me to go to the house? You hear that everywhere again? No, I don't know. Honestly, you're the worst. <laughs> hey, hold off. Please, no more end. <laughs> no. Number five, please, no more end. Okay, this next one. It's the last one. It says, don't meet the criteria of the other two wrong ends. I didn't realize there were two wrong ends. I think there's only the one. I think this walkthrough is bullshitting me. Oh, I forgot to mention again. Here's a walkthrough for the bad ends. Yeah, there's only two! What the fuck? It was trying to make me go on a goose chase. Wait. Ironic chef. I'm kind of excited for that one, but I need to go through this last one. His last wrong end. Which means I need to go to where we pick the outfit. Which I believe is here. Right away. Let's do tracksuit. I go, let's go with tracksuits and bloomers for the costumes. What color should the bloomers be? Maybe blue. Aqua. Such naivete, you know. 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 I don't really know what you're talking about, so I'm just gonna say that navy blue is fine. As you wish, I'll get everything ready. Sit tight. With a smile, Aiko exited the classroom, only to return not even five minutes later. Sorry to keep you waiting. I come bearing a Batsumo set. Track suits 
and two pairs of navy blue bloomers. At this point, Takuchi and Inumaru were hurriedly outed from the room as Naomi and Naho changed into their assigned uniforms. And Naomi and Naho stood in the blood sumo circle, Takuchi stepped forward as the referee's fan that I got supplied him with. Ready? Rumble. <laughs> The match is disappointedly short. Naomi is a posterior, clad with the lovely skin tight navy blue pair of bloomers. It was quite handed, uh, had quite handedly knocked Naho out of the ring almost immediately. Way to go, Naomi! I knew those childbearing hips weren't just for show. Come on, don't say word crap like that, Seiko. The winner is a milk mouse? Milk mouse is a winner. You too, Takuchi. Don't make up creepy stage names for people. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna be skipping as best I can. I'm sorry, I don't know the button for it. So I'm just going as fast as I can. Okay, going. I believe the nice one is for the what's it called? The other choice is Rina. Soka. Yeah, Twister. Yep, here we go for Twister. So, at least for me. No more than like 30 minutes ago. <clears throat> and we all know the rules of Twister here in the Western world. It's a game that people play, especially in a drunken state, to try to quote unquote get some. We're going four and six this time. Let's go with numbers four and six. The fortune I have never fought. I'm also out. Yes, it's Naho and Sayaka. So who are numbers four and six then? I'm number four. I'm number six. You mean Naho and I at long last? Woo! You don't need to be that enthused. Oh, I do believe me. It was painful for me to not, oh, to watch you be so unladylike and not directly participate. I wonder what might happen to us this time around. Simply imagining the possibilities. I feel like butter on rice. I could just melt. Alright, you two, ready to start. Hi. Sure, you bet. 
えー、っと、番号が若い方が先行でいいよね。How is the younger of you, Jack? ナオちゃんとミッチャコ I'm going to get all jumbled with. I got all jumbled together with Naho. あの、さやかちゃん聞いてるまあ、いいか。ルーレットを回すのは。え、さやかちゃん、どういうふうにしてるのはい、はい、それさっきからやってみたい。うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うん、うこうすればいいのね。あ、ありがとう。待った。最初は右手緑。緑。First step is right hand on green. ここでいいのかな。So, ready to go t h a t 次は、なほちゃんの番だね。Now it's your turn, Naho. 言われなくてもわかってる。Yeah, kind of figured. 左足黄色。The front yellow. 左足黄色っと。The foot yellow. Okay. 右足赤。The front red. ここかな。This is what I'll do. 黄色 Left hand yellow. はい。OK。右手黄色。Right hand yellow. でしょ。Yellow's really getting the left this time. 右足青。Right for blue. ここでいいわね。This should do. This should continue to spin the wheel in this manner, calling out body parts and colors. Right to the side again, not how alike we split out in the mat. All four of their limbs intertwine and stretch them naturally, barely keeping balance. Right hand green. Right hand on green. Got it! The foot yellow. This pose is not going to be easy to reach you. I'm going to go to the back of the house. I'm going to go to the back of the house. I'm going to go to the back of the house. I'm going to go to the back of the house. I'm going to go to the back of the house. I'm going to go to the back of the house. I'm going to go to the back of the house. My so-called. It shouldn't be here. If I have to prepare the punishment game, I'll have a punishment game to prepare for the loser. Bats game? Punishment game. So, bats game. That's right. Hara, I didn't know. That's right. Don't tell me you're on a way. That's right. Don't tell me you're on a way. That's right. Don't tell me you're on a way. That's right. Don't tell me you're on a way. That's right. Don't tell me you're on a way. That's right. Don't tell me you're on a way. That's right. Don't tell me you're on a way. That's right. すごいわね、ナホちゃん。あの体勢から足が届くなんて、意外と体柔らかいのね。That's actually quite impressive, ナホ。For you to be able to stretch your leg all the way from the position, your body must be quite limber. <笑>罰ゲームなんて、受けてたまるもんですか。You think we would let you subject me to a punishment game after all this? 左手赤左手を赤と<笑>い,いつの間にこんなにナホちゃんが近くに無理なハケツクロス無理な体勢で辛いんだでも足をプルプルさせちゃってるナホちゃんって It's a possible body position It's painful, sure But it's seen Naho stretched out Her legs are quivering like this なんか生まれたての子猫って感じで超可愛い She's like a newborn kitten Positively adorable. Nigiashi, Midori. Right foot green. Kondo, a Nigiashi. Watch my right foot now. So, the shah, Kokoni. Guess I can try for you. Ah, Saya Kasoko, just a gome. Saya, can I see this? Kore de i? Like this. It's good. Ah, so, so, Kona Skimani, Nigiashi, Rete. Yes. Yeah, it's perfect. 
I'm just slip my right foot through the gap. Okay. You're so close to me now. I'm so, so close. It really does smell lovely. Still medium floral. Right hand blue. If I could take a nap on a plush food pond, rubbed in this room. There you die. Are you listening, Sayaka? Right hand blue. Okay. Sorry, Naho-chan. Don't worry. Don't No, sorry, Naho. You're right. I'm fine. Don't worry about me, Sayaka. Really sorry about this, Naho. I can't believe I let myself get lost in my thoughts like that. I wonder if Sachiko isn't mad at me now. It's not a point though, because it totally just felt Naho's boob on accident. Her body is so soft, and, and she has this sort of comforting warmth to her. I just want a real life Naho to be my hug pillow that I can squeeze all night long. No, bad Sayaka. In the middle of a game, focus. My foot yellow. My foot again. Holy crap, stop, Naho. If you open your legs any more than that, your panties will be totally exposed. Uh, there they are for all the world to see. I can't help myself. I don't melt. Along with the battle cry, Sayaka suddenly just sprung up. And Naho, who's struggling to keep her balance, the first blade completely lost it. Two of them landed an inadvertent somersault before landing. Hi! Sayaka chan no make! And Sayaka's out. Damn, so close. Close, close to what? Well, I guess you could say I kind of lost my inner beast. Yes, I don't understand you at all sometimes. Well, either way, you lost. So, Sayaka, it's time for the punishment game. Aww. Oh, indeed. Sayaka, for having lost, you must now drink the specially made Lady Sachiko juice. Sachiko Sama juice? What the hell is Lady Sachiko juice? What's in it? Don't worry, there's nothing bad for you in it. これを毎日飲んで階段の上り下りが楽になった人や借金苦を克服して人気ラーメン店の店主になった人とかもいるんですから。and even people who have drunk it every day and found it easier for them to climb the stairs, overcome their depths and find a successful ramen shop. What the hell kind of 5am health store commercial sales pitch are you feeding me? <laughs> Don't be so shy now. Drink, drink! What? Seriously, what is this? It reeks. The best medicine has most oh has the most bitter tastes, they say. If you this what bothers you, you can always hold your nose as you up your bottoms. You're really not selling this to me. No is the smell. Good luck, Sayaka. Asore! Sayaka chan no! Chotto eita komite mi tai! Sayaka, go, go! Give us a show, show! You can do it, you can get through it! Oh, Ikikoru wa shinakte ii desu kana! 
Yo sí. God, I better just drink this now before you also shouting for me to chug, chug, chug or something. Oh, she drank it all. Oh, I don't feel so good. さあ、ちこ様ゲーム。誤解戦行くよ。じゃあ。あんたはこれでも。みそち。じゃあ。はい、ただい。そうだ。えっと。あ、何そう。普通。そう。だったらさ、さちこ。それ。うん。じゃあそれか。あ、はい。よし。よし。はあ。ありがとう。助かったよ。お待たせしました。ん?これ。だね。でも、なんだか変な顔。あ、ドライスオブメロンね。うん。サンプ。もう、何あれ She's melting. Got it. Yeah. Taguchi is watering out Seiko or Sachiko. Number one to four. Number one to four. So then, who? Me. Saika is number one and kicks his ass. Beep beep, asshole. Would be my favorite line from this whole game. サチコ様ゲーム。六回戦いけ。おお、またさ。え、サチコ。三番が四番。黒。え、でもダイブラフター。こっちこっち。こっちこっちそうだよ。私サチコなんか。四。え、だったらそんな愛子。まあ、庭
、そうそうそう。わかっ、よくわかんないけど、ケチユーズ。このお願い、きっぱっけむ。はーい。<笑>こ、そろそろバッチャー用意お願いね。はーい。喜んで。女子の皆さんには。えー、ちょ、あ、無理です、そう。その前に、私も、それ、そこ。ですよ。うん。よくわかんないけど。連帯責任。ええ、ね。お、ね、え、ふはい、出ないと。さちき。え<笑>え、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、トコヨのハザマでフレーナサイ。ナナツのホシノモガーセイバイカンリョウサチサチコダイチコダイマンズクオタナナズビーテサイコーナウリスムサチコスゲームズナウミンセイコー began walking through the darkened corridors that led back to where they were before いやーまいったわよねほんとよね No kidding. <sighs> With one final sigh of relief, their forms vanished into the darkness. It seemed almost as if they'd simply melted away. Thoroughly refreshed, and. Hmm. Revived, thoroughly refreshed, and. New entries unlocked in the character dossier menu Mitsuki Yamamoto. Toko Kirisaki Emi Urabe. New entry in notes and journals menu. Naho's notes. I, I, I mean, we have some time in this episode. I might as, might as well take a look. Bonus. Notes. Uh, Naho's notes. Now, how's notes? One out of five. Examination of Sacred Spaces, File 01. Ghost Therapy, Heart Surgery Ward. Investigation pending. Examination of Sacred Spaces, File 02. K Prefecture, Heavenly Host Elementary School. Investigation in process. Method of ingress obtained. Requires two or more participants. Method of egress obtained. We will need to gather more information to plan very carefully, but it can be done. I encountered fierce spiritual resistance while simply researching the Shinazaki estate. Right side of body paralyzed. Left ear drum ringing. Orbs visible in photographs. Influence confirmed. Severe dizziness, nausea, and bloody BM experienced. Symptoms persist for weeks. Significant danger is clearly present. Next investigation will place others at risk. May it be best to leave Mr. Kibiki behind. Seems he returned empty handed again today. How many times has that happened with this publisher? He writes such interesting pieces but never receives due credit. They're too daft. They don't appreciate him. Poor guy can't catch a break. But all that will change once his next spiritual once his next serial is published. I'll do everything in my power to help him get the recognition he deserves. Now his notes, two out of five. I had a final exam today, so I went to school for the first time in quite a while. Since while I was gone, Kibiki went here to Heavenly Hills without me. It's too dangerous. We don't have enough data, he said, trying to justify why he'd skulk into the sacred ground behind my back. His visit, Taguchi, most likely put him up to it. I did give him all the details on how to return home from here, and it's a fairly simple process. But I can't help worrying about him nonetheless. At any rate, the blog's been updated, and I do feel a I do feel bad about dragging my friend Sayaka into this. But it's time to dive headfirst into these trenches and really feel out what this place is all about. Naho's notes, 3 out of 5. Is that a skull? Up here? 
Herein I will detail the pro the proper observance of the Suchiko Shinazaki's charm, as well as means of reversing its effects and returning home. Excuse me. I'm reading. Thank you, school. Suchiko and the other after. Procedure for proper observance. The spell trigger is the phrase, Suchiko, we beg of you. It must be chanted once for each participant, then one additional time for Sachiko. Following this, the proxy doll is to be torn apart. Should the proxy doll Oh, should the proxy doll recovered from the ruins of the old Shunazaki estate be unavailable, a printed Hmm Fasamil will suffice for the purposes of this ritual. If everything is performed as indicated, the spirit will pass by harmlessly, and nothing of note should occur. If any part of the ritual is performed incorrectly, however, then Sachiko herself will descend upon viable, any viable spirit medium in the vicinity, and all present will be afflicted with her curse and spirited away to the second ground. Procedure for Reversal If you've angered Sachiko, you may atone by redoing the ritual properly, but in reverse. Girl, what the fuck? First, produce your remnant proxy doll. Oh, I was notes four out of five. Kipiki, I'm so sorry. My readings were far too broad, and my interpretations of them overly naive. This place is not a simple plane for spirits I'd previously surmised it to be. If we don't get out of here ASAP, we'll be in real danger. I th think we keep be our way out. <laughs> Jill is. Why do they have to do that? It's bow e in a v particular blank. I be quite mm pack. Doing so will mm at least do okay. eight that go a plain ow. Legitimately, Yoshikazu, I do not need you right now. Blink s would be unimaginably dangerous. Blink telling. I need to continue my investigation until a more reliable method is found. Till then, please, please, please be safe. I want to see you again, Kibiki. Wasn't anything. I want to feel you stroke my hair. No, it was, no, it's four out of five complete. Kibiki, I'm so sorry. Too naive. Real danger. They'll be able to get back easily through the way out strategy I detailed. But these child spirits are that are bound here are a very particular manner. It won't be quite so simple to achieve. Doing so will mean appeasing the malicious spirits that dwell here to unlock the gate that cuts through the planar void. Back to the world we know. Using this technique before fulfilling this condition could be unimaginably dangerous. There's no telling what might happen. I need to continue my investigation until a more reliable methods found. Until then, please, please, please be safe. Why are we red? I want to see you again, Kibiki. More than anything. I want to feel you stroke my hair. Oh, I was no, it's five out of five. I can smell him. I can smell you. I'm getting closer. Soon I'll be with him again. My consciousness is fading. My hands are jet black, but I'm all right. I'll be with him again soon, after all. I was note six out of five. I found you, Kibiki. I found the room you ran to. Wait for me. No, I was note seven out of five. Hmm. I missed you. I'm going to hug you now. God, the screaming man is like my cat. Oh, I was notes. Hashtag out of five. Everything has gone dark. My body is a black mist. Yay! Hey, I never saw the victim's memoirs. I mean, might as well. Victim's memoirs A. One out of five. I ate my friend today. <laughs> I ate my friend today. What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. 
We both were, and there's no food here. So we decided together that one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I was supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. We left it all up to a game of rock, paper, scissors. Or paper, scissors, rock, excuse me. Loser eats winner. And I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat, quenching my thirst. Her meat was supple and satisfying. But that blood and that meat was once my friend. Up until just a few hours before, I'd been talking to her. As I feasted, I kept thinking this food used to be a person. Before I tore it apart, it all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about it, I started crying and I couldn't stop. I wanted some part of her to be with me even after she died. So I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. And I thought maybe I should write all this down to help preserve some small portion of my sanity. Victim's Memoirs A, 2 out of 5. Put that skull away! I am not trying to get with that bitch. I hold it in the palm of my hand. A piece of a person's body. A piece of a person who was living and breathing only a short while ago. This body part used to be attached to her head. And now I'm walking around the school with it. I had no idea eyeballs were so heavy. And I just keep squishing it in the palm of my hand. As if I'm testing its firmness. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Victim's Memoirs A, 3 out of 5. I've been searching every last corner of the school building, trying to find a way to escape with her. But it's not happening. No matter how much we struggle, only further misery awaits us. I'm so unbearably thirsty. So hungry that it feels like my stomach is eating itself. And every moment that gets worse, it's like a big black mass in front of me that's slowly closing in. I can't keep ignoring it. I've started talking to the eyeball in my hand to help stay focused and maintain my sanity. Stop looking at me like that. I swear, I've fallen this way out of here. I have to make sure I tell your family what you did for me. Victim's Memoirs A, 4 out of 5. I'm writing these... Mores. What... With sticky hands. But it's not me that is sticky. There's something else. I hope you read not mad about this. Maybe you will think I am a horrible person, but I get hungry again. Really hungry like I was about to die, so I... I did something I shouldn't have done. I promised myself I would stay sane. I promised myself I wouldn't do what I did. And I'm so, so sorry, really, really sorry, really sorry, but there was no excuse for what I did. With my bloody hands, I took the thing that I've been squishing, and I put it in my mouth, and I swallowed it. I ate it. Victor's Memoirs A, 5 out of 5. If you're reading this, allow me to forewarn you. There was no hope of rescue. There was nothing to be gained. Endless wandering and endless torture is the nature of this place. I succumbed to my hunger and thirst, began nibbling at the corpse again. There's no flavor, no sensation, just meat and fluid to state my empty belly. I promised I would not desecrate your body anymore, but I broke that promise. Please, forgive me. <laughs> Glad we missed before we started screaming again. All right, Victor's Memoirs B. Because I never got to read them because that means a bad ending. We don't want that. But it gives us a lot of good stuff. Victor's Memoirs B, one out of five. Drink some water. Drink some water. Back in action. <clears throat> Otaki. Mitsuhara, I want to see you again. A ghost told me. Oh my fucking god. Like, it's not scary anymore. Just fucking stop. Apparently you were brought here too. But we're in different spaces. Even though we're in the same school, I can't see you. Why did this happen to us? I shouldn't be here. I should be in my math one class at prep school. My sister's gonna be really mad at me if you're skipping. 
I don't think she'll believe the excuse, even if I told her, though. I feel like if I can ever find you, I'll be able to get out of here alive. I don't know why. But if we really are in the same school, then I know there must be a way of getting in contact with you. And I'm going to find it. Effective memoirs, B. <laughs> Two out of five. <laughs> I'm so cold. I feel like the heat is just oozing out of my body, bit by bit. And there's that sound that just won't stop. What is it? My ears hurt, I can't focus on anything. I feel like there's a thin film surrounding my entire brain. I found a dying message next to one of the corpses earlier. It said there's a hallway somewhere in here that changes the size, appearing longer or shorter, pretty much on a whim. I wonder where it is. I hate that I don't feel anything when I see a human body anymore. It sickens me. Figured the memoir is B, 3 out of 5. Mitsuhara. Really isn't anywhere to be found, is he? I think it's true. Oh, I guess it's true. I'll probably never see him again. But I may have figured out a way of getting into contact with him, at least. He left me a message on the teacher's desk in one of the classrooms. It looks like even when we're in different spaces, we can still communicate that way. But it's not enough. There's no warmth to be felt in a written word alone. I miss our fights. Our impromptu wrestling matches. But it's not just physical contact. What I want more than anything else is his face again. I just want to be able to see him around and make small talk. Ask him how he's been and what his plans are to do after school. The simple, everyday interactions are some of my most precious memories now. What I wouldn't give to have those days back. Funny what runs through your head when you're trying to make frostbitten fingers move without cracking off. Food is memoirs B, 4 out of 5. Cold. Hurts to move fingers. No strength to write on desk. Cannot talk or see friend. Tendon in leg cut. Bleeding badly. Victor's memoirs B. 5 out of 5. Dots. Looks like I'll be dying soon. So I'm going to try to keep my fingers steady. Just this one last time. I... What? Why? I'm just trying to read! The bleeding never stopped. And I'm getting colder and colder. I could barely see. In the end, we never did find one another here. And unless you magically pop out of the shadows real soon, we never will. Mitsuhara, I've always idolized you. You constantly surpass me in every way. Always one step ahead, no matter what we're doing. I keep telling myself that at some point, I'll turn a corner and you'll be there. But I knew better. My brain knew better. My brain rejected that notion from the very beginning. If I should dream in death, though, then I'll know I'm coming to see you when I turn the next corner. Like I've been praying for all this time. We could beat up on one another like we used to. And I'll never have to be alone again. How come it's making all those sounds? Honestly, how much time do we have? It's too strange, but true. Are we screaming again? Son of a whore. She be true, stories of the occult chasing down the hidden paths of the cursed school building. It really does exist, by Kao Kibiki. Over the course of several days, this series of incidents occurred within the town which young children disappeared one after another. Their whereabouts are ultimately discovered through a thorough police investigation, but said findings were a very much worst case scenario. Three of the missing children were found dead in a concealed room beneath Heavenly Host Elementary officially unused throughout the school's history. The fourth missing child was thankfully still alive, quaking in fear on the ground, presumably only moments away from demise when police arrived. Capping off the nightmare scene was an adult male member of the school's teaching staff who seemed to be in a state of confusion, and his head to wear a pair of bloody scissors. This is 9-18-1973. The surviving elementary school student, after psychological counseling, gave official testimony, fingering the scissor man as the abductor and murderer. Our staff member in question 
had, was officially charged with multiple counts of abduction and murder of minors, as well as the secretion of the dead. <coughs> we have a new face! Hello! I didn't even realize! Welcome! He was quickly taken to trial, where an instant insanity plea spared him for prison or death resulted in his compulsion, compulsory admission to a mental hospital. Interestingly, the perpetrator of these crimes, who was none other than the school's principal's own son, was widely renowned for his jovial personality. However, due to a mental ailment of unknown origin, he'd begun losing his ability to speak little by little during his years teaching at Heavenly Host. Once his speech was all but gone, he started searching for alternative places of employment, which occupied him for several months prior to the crime. The results of the endeavor were not favorable, however, and most of his days were spent staggering idly through the streets. His reputation quickly degraded. Several months after his admittance to a mental hospital, he managed to slip past the many nurses on duty and escape the premises. Immediately upon doing so, he made his way into the concealed basement room of Heavenly Host Elementary, where he took his own life by hanging. The three children he had killed were all Heavenly Host Elementary students. But the one girl who was rescued from the gaping maw of the eternal slumber was not. Following her close call, she and her family moved to another prefecture, far from the memories that no doubt would have otherwise haunted them forever. Sadly, this was only the beginning of the misfortune that would hereby plague the school, which had already on itself many an unsettling rumor. Over the next few years, Heavenly Host would become the stage for countless incidents of, hmm, the bad three. With student registration and attendance dwindling an alarming rate in response to these crimes, the school was eventually shut down, 11-18-1975. The 60-year-old principal at the time had become infamous as an eccentric who adorned his walls, doors, and furniture with incomprehensible graffiti. Even later, forensic analysis of the writings throughout his office could make little sense of his haphazardly scribbled enumerations. The day before the school's closure date was finalized, this aged eccentric threw himself from the roof. He broke his neck on impact, dying instantly. As you can clearly discern, the sorbid history of this school is indeed awful, but there may be more to it than merely a series of unfortunate incidents. A power greater than any of us can comprehend may be acting as puppeteer from the shadows, maintaining an actual, tangible curse upon this property. And the key to it all lies with the sole survivor, the girl who bore witness to the brutal- <laughs> Thank you. The girl who bore witness to the brutal murders and mutilations of three children no older than she. The girl in their address, the one who got away. My investigation into the supernatural side of this horrific massacre was only just the beginning. Rest assured, I intend to make this a regular feature. I began gathering data for the follow up report, so stay tuned. The next issue promises to uncover more details in this morbidly fascinating story. Strange but true, Swords of the Occult, chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building follow up by Cow Kibiki. I won't take a sip of your water or gamer juice, whichever. My poison today is water. Let's go. Let's talk a bit more about Yoshikazu Yanagiyori, beloved son of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal, Takamine Yanagiyori. The man was a born instructor, pure and simple. He took up the mantle as soon as he could, and performed his duties with peerless panache. But then the illness struck, and little by little, his winning personality gave way to pure instinct. He was slowly losing all sense of identity. Although the cause of his illness was unknown, its effects were anything but. Simply put, the good teacher had begun reverting to a childlike state. He began carrying an antique doll with him at all times, a memento 
from a long forgotten festival, perhaps, given to him by his late mother. His behavior during class degraded quickly. More often than not, his lectures would cease before the period's end, and he began wailing mournfully. Finally, seven months prior to the kidnapping and murder incident, Yoshikazu reached the point where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. Although he could still understand others, he became virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. Given all the evidence mounted against him, Yoshikazu Yanagiori was arrested on multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and desecration of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement to the crimes, nor even properly discuss them with authorities. Everything hinged on the testimony of the sole survivor, one Sachiko Shinazaki, age 7. Mm. In search of the truth behind the less scientific affiliations, this incident spurred. I, of course, chose to follow the trail of this mysterious little girl. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying the story may remember Sachiko best as the girl with a strikingly unusual red dress. It's hard not to feel sympathy for someone so young forced to watch other children her age being tortured and killed one by one. And certainly, if I was in Miss Shinazaki and if I were to find... <laughs> Uh, and certainly if I were to find Miss Shinazaki and secure an interview, there would be a more real moral concerns about digging up such painful memories. But then again, she's been a full Oh, she's been a full grown and hopefully well adjusted adult for over ten years at this point. By now, she should be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objectivity and give a more thorough account of what happened that day. She should put true stories of the occult, choosing them the hidden past of the Curse School Building, Part 3, by Kao Kibiki. Things have truly taken a fretful turn, dear readers. I stand now on the brink of a new age of the occult world. Nothing will ever be the same again. I wonder if it will even be possible to convey- I wonder if it will even be possible to convey in words the significance of where I'm standing at at this very moment. Prepare yourselves for a report unlike any other, for I am presently within the accursed school building inside Heavenly Host Elementary. And it's all thanks to my highly skilled protege, Nahu Sainoki. Many of you know the name. She has the ability to commune spirits, and it's through these connections that a way has been devised a means of accessing this sacred ground. Together with my faithful cameraman, Taguchi, I have made use of this method to see the cursed halls with my own eyes. I have set foot into a school building that should no longer exist, a forbidden land of the dead. In addition to this article, Taguchi and I will also be capturing ample video footage. You have... oh, we have no... God, it's pissing me off. We have no clear plan of attack, so we'll simply explore and record. What will become of us in these dilapidated halls? What secrets will we uncover? What will we be able to learn the truth of what happened here? It may seem odd in such a macabre surroundings, but I can't help feeling excited about what awaits us. Surely, dear readers, you can relate. I sincerely hope you will be anticipating my next installment with bated breath. For now, however, I must put down my pen. There's no work- oh, there's work to be done. I must gather evidence of this remarkable excursion. For soon, I shall be regarded as a living witness to the dead. Can you put truth or the occult chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building part 4 by Cow Kibiki? I shouldn't be alone. I shouldn't be alone. We're not the first to come here, it seems. There have been many before us, and every one of them is either dead or has been swallowed up by the school itself. I'm not simply using the word swallowed for dramatic effect either. It is, regrettably, an apt description. There's a massive curse encompassing this entire building. It's like an entity unto itself, and it slowly devours the souls of men. It's just a way at a person's core, sanity, reason, even identity, eventually destroying him. 
Oh. The screaming man left. No. Nothing that made him who he is is left behind. He's back. Hello. Once I script your heart, you'll quickly succumb to despair and loneliness. The essence of what makes you human is literally eaten away, as if by worms. When this happens, the body begins to what? Necrotize. The soul begins oh, becomes as black as spent ash. We've come to regard this process as darkening. And whoever succumbs to the darkening becomes an inseparable part of the school itself. In rare instances, one may be able to avoid the full act of darkening. Instead, fated to be seared unbearably by intense, violent thoughts and emotions. But most of the time, his soul will be rooted here, and he will be cursed to wander these halls for eternity with no hope of passing or exorcism. Thus, my use of the word swallowed. The school swallows his whole, growing fatter with tortured souls every day. It makes you shudder just think about it. The means by which I come here is such a good charm. If its, part if its particulars have er ever got out to the mainstream, the school would never go hungry again. To anyone who is reading this fourth installment, it's soon the fifth. It's clear that you're a victim, trapped within this hellish place, just as I am. The least I could do is give you some advice to help you keep living as long as possible. If you still have even the dimmest shred of hope, hang on to it. Keep it firmly in your heart. Never give up on it. I cannot stress that enough. I hope you'll be looking forward to part five. My sister Takuchi has disappeared somewhere. Now that I'm by myself, I can no longer go home. So I'm just going to keep writing. It's my one true calling after all. No matter what happens, as long as there's life left in me, as long as my hands can still move, I will never stop writing. Fifth installment, my ass. Alright, well, that's enough for now. Next time, we will go to the Ironic Chef. So thank you very much for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you later.